Let's multiply these two mixed numbers. By the way, if these are negative mixed numbers or positive mixed numbers, the only difference would be in the sign of the product. So keep that in mind if you encounter negative mixed numbers. Let's go ahead and multiply these two, though. To do so, we'll write each as an equivalent improper fraction. Remember how to do this. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10 over the original denominator of 3. Then times. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27 over the original denominator of 4. And now remember, to multiply, you don't have to have a common denominator. It's simply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. And now let's look for any common factors. I know 3 and 27 have a common factor of 3, and I know 4 and 10 have a common factor of 2. So I'll write 10 as 2 times 5, and then I'll write 27 as 3 times 9. In the denominator, I'll simply write 3, and then I'll write 4 as 2 times 2. So we see those common factors that I was talking about. By the way, if you prefer the prime factorization method, uh, please feel free to do so. Here's our common factor of 2, common factor of 3, just as we thought, and now let's write down our product. I have 1 times 5 times 1 times 9, that is 45 over 1 times 1 times 2, that's 45 over 2. Now, since I started with mixed numbers in our original product, let's go ahead and write this equivalently as a mixed number. 2 divides into 45 22 times, because I know 22 times 2 is 44. I have a remainder of 1. So equivalently as a mixed number, it's 22 and a half.